Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be all about short scale basses for pretty much any budget. Let's roll into the intro. <laughs> What's up guys, Hovek and Ellen here. Uh, so I get a lot of emails from people asking for recommendations for short scale basses uh, and I also read uh, threads on forums about the same topic uh, so I thought maybe it's a good time to uh, make a video about short scales and give you guys some proper information because uh, on this channel we want to bring you guys all the good stuff all the positive and the information and you know smiles and happy faces so we have 10 bases here uh, most of them are Ellen's bases except for two and we're gonna go from the lowest price to the highest and we'll also have some honorable mentions so I think it's gonna be a fun one you play about you talk about the bass and I play about I play the bass you want me to play or you talk uh, I'll, I'll play the bass thank okay. you <laughs> <laughs> all right all right deal let's do it <laughs> to throw it that way <laughs> okay so the first one is the Harley Benton P bass it's a short scale P bass and the model is PB Shorty Shorty uh, and it's only $89 and I have no idea how they provide such a quality for only $89 uh, I'll go uh, through the specs really quick so it's a poplar body maple neck uh, modern C shape and 19 frets Nut width is 42 millimeters and the scale is 30 inches Amazing starting bass for any beginner or someone with small hands who wants to learn to play bass. So Let's see how it sounds. Now. It's my turn. Okay <laughs> <laughs> All right Okay, so the next one is the Glary bass. Uh, it's a little shorter than a uh, regular short scale. It's Ellen size. It's Ellen size. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only 25.5 inches. Uh, I, I guess that's a guitar size, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not a very te technical musician, so. Uh, it's only $100, again, very affordable. Uh, it has a maple neck, rosewood fretboard, C-shape uh, neck. Um, fingerboard radius 9.5 inches inches 24 frets amazing um, and yeah it sounds good very affordable and let's see how it sounds and it's my turn it's your turn <laughs> all right let's do it <laughs> Okay, so the next one is Ellen's very first bass when she started playing it. Uh, it's the Ibanez Micro or Micro. I don't know how do you pronounce it. It's only one hundred ninety nine dollars, two hundred dollars. Uh, good starting bass, very good sounding bass. We have a lot of videos on Ellen's channel uh, with this specific bass. It's uh, shorter than a short scale. A little bit. It's only 28.6 inches. So the regular short scale is 30 inches. So this one is 28.6. Another Ellen size. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 22 frets, uh, maple neck, uh, fingerboard is 
Jatoba. I have no idea what that is. Uh, and uh, hold on. Jatoba. Uh, 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 uh. Fingerboard Jatoba and body is Agathis. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> uh, all I carry is about the quality and the sound. So, which brings us to the sound. Yay! <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Okay, so the next one is this very cool looking Fender Squire. Uh, this one is also 28.6 inches, the scale. Not a fully short scale, a little bit shorter, which is very cool. Uh, again, $200, 199.99. So, um, let's see. Four strings, uh, poplar body, maple neck, C-shape, radius 9.5, uh, fingerboard laurel, uh, 20 frets, and that's it. No, what? and it has something to pull. Peel. Peel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot about this. Yeah, this is uh, the one that's not in Ellen's collection. I bought this base for this video. And she's gonna peel it, so it's a brand new bass. And we're gonna check the sound the first first time. Yay. I got an email. It's probably about short scale bass. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's hear it and see how it sounds. Okay, so the next one is a P-Bass from the company called Byte Bass, right? Yeah, it's called Byte Bass because I got hungry. I got <laughs> a little hungry. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> okay, uh, I think they are based out of France. Uh, they make a lot of good, good basses. Uh, they also have a configurator. Configurator <laughs> on their website. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll include the links uh, in the description. Uh, and it's only $329. Now we know it's from France. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, great sounding bass. They make their own pickups. The quality and uh, the sound is just, you know, superb. You want to play it? Yeah. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's check the sound. Okay, so before moving on to the next bass, I want to say thank you to DNA Guitar Gear for providing this beautiful stand for our basses and guitars. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, they were just kind enough to provide the stands. I reached, reached out to them, told them about the idea of this video, and they were said, yes, obviously we'll, we'll provide the stands. These are uh, the only stands that I use in my studios uh, since probably 2017. 
amazing quality, uh, very robust and heavy duty. So if you care about your expensive bases, I think you should take a look. I will include the link in the description below. So now let's talk about this base. I mean, there's not a mu not much to say about this base. This it's is the Hofner. Paul McCartney played it's it. It's the pa Hofner Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically known uh, because of pa Paul McCartney. Uh, it's the violin base. Uh, the model is Ignition, uh, the Hofner Ignition base. It's 30 inches, hollow body. Uh, beautiful sounding bass and you what? I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm just curious because I don't know was this like originally custom made for Paul McCartney or was or did he just like see it and like I want it I have no idea <laughs> I'm just curious if anyone knows please okay yeah down. if you <laughs> know comment yeah just let us know in the comments good yeah. good question Time to play some Beatles song. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do it. side and yeah. lay on this side <laughs> yeah it's like going this way <laughs> okay so this next one is the dan electro longhorn uh short scale bass uh the price is uh 569 dollars 570 dollars um this is this is my friend's Derek jones's bass uh he loves it and i checked the quality it's it's amazing it has two Lipstick pickups, that's what it's called. Lipstick. <laughs> yeah, very, very cool bass, good sounding bass, and the quality is obviously very good. Um, 24 it's... frets, 30 inches, and that's pretty much all the information I could found on the website. It's called long stick, but it's a short scale. <laughs> long horn. Long horn. <laughs> long horn. I think that's because lipstick. of these horns. Yeah, they, they look like horns. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's check the sound. Yeah. Okay, so this next bass is the Sterling uh, Stingray by Music Man. The price is six hundred dollars, five hundred ninety-nine point ninety-nine. Uh, uh, again, it's a thirty-inch scale, and this is probably uh, the most used bass uh, by Ellen. And this is her second bass. When I realized she's kind of serious about playing the bass, I got this bass. Yeah. For most, her. Most used in the top ten. Well, not top ten. The ten bass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. I mainly use the minus. Uh, so it's thirty inches, uh, maple neck, maple fingerboard, uh, twenty-two frets, nine point five uh, neck radius. Yeah, I changed the pickup, the original pickup, uh, and this one is a uh, North Strand. Uh, forgot the model, but I have the video of the, of the you know the whole process of changing the pickup, and you can also see tons of video on this channel of Ellen playing this bass. All right, let's do it. I was about to say, let's roll into the intro. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's roll into the uh, bass playing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this next one is the Gibson Les Paul Jr. by uh, by, <laughs> by Gibson. <laughs> okay, so this next one is the Gibson Les Paul Jr. Uh, short scale bass. This was sent by Gibson, so thank you Gibson for sending this bass. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. Uh, the retail price was thousand dollars, but I checked and you can find on the used market for like eight or nine hundred, maybe even cheaper. But uh, it's a, it's an amazing sounding bass. The quality is not questionable. It has a very unique and deep sound, you know, for more like a rock sound. Uh, it's 30 inches, uh, 20 frets, medium jumbo frets. Uh, fingerboard is rosewood. That I'm, I'm reading from there, uh, from the Gibson website. And okay. that, that's pretty much all I can find. Um, but yeah, it's a it's an amazing sounding bass, especially with this uh, yellow strings. Yeah, DR. <laughs> DR strings. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check the sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, the last but not least is the Nordstrand Asinonix short scale bass. Probably the most unique uh, looking bass <laughs> out of all this 10, yeah. except the Hof Hafner. I take it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's $1,000. Uh, the retail price is $1,000. Uh, it's 30.7 inches, the scale. Uh, alder body with Indian rosewood fingerboard. And the coolest part are these uh, selectors. It's my favorite part because it's satisfying to push them. Yeah. So it has two uh, single coil pickups. Uh, these are four uh, pickup selectors and these are the tone selectors. Yeah. <laughs> Great sounding bass. And the quality is not even questionable. Yeah. Let's check the sound. Yeah. <laughs> it also has flat wound. Yeah, it has flat, flat ones. It has Paul McCartney strings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Nordstrand, for sending this beautiful bass. Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> Okay, uh, so these are the honorable mentions. Uh, let's start with the color base. This one is the Journeyman model. Very cool and unique base. Violin base. Acoustic base, also acoustic electric base. It has violin uh, sound holes. F base, uh, I mean U base. <laughs> <laughs> U base, yeah, it's only $350. Great uh, travel base if you wanna, you know, uh, travel lightweight. Has a tuner. It has tuner, volume, tongue controls. You're talking in A. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next would be this one, the travel base. I don't know the honestly, I don't know the prices for this two, uh, but these are uh, both Mayonnaise bases. This is the Cali Four. Um, they sent this one as a gift. We we also have a video about this, uh, about this gift. Uh, yes. It's on the channel. Um, <laughs> this this is probably the coolest base ever. It's 24 inches. Look at I the size. I, it's even less than a fretboard. <laughs> Look at this size, but it has 24 inches. Yeah, amazing sounding base. I think um, I should hold that one because I'm the mini one here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and this last one is the, the is actually the newest one that Ellen got from Mayonnaise Guitars. Uh, it's the custom Commodus. Com yeah. 
Let me hold that one. Yes, please. <laughs> but don't leave out the other mayonnaise. Don't make him feel left out. Well, yeah, I've, everybody knows that you are uh, endorsed by mayonnaise. You're endorsing mayonnaise bases. Yeah. So this is the newest one she got with the Music Man and Jazz Bass pickup. They're twins. Twins. The only difference is this switch and it has five. Yeah, the tone controls are a little yeah. bit different, but uh, everything else is pretty much the same. The neck shape, uh, the body, and uh, all that stuff. I just noticed that, you know how there's like holes on the little tone controls? Mm -hmm. I just realized they're with like a little diamond inside and the other one is just like regular holes. I just yeah? realized that, yeah. <laughs> It's a diamond. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> all right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty much all the bases. You want to take it from here? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Peace and goodbye.